Now that we know how to animate a fractal parameter, let's see how to render the movie from Unreal Engine 5. So uh, this is uh, the sequence uh, we did in the last tutorial. And to uh, render this out, we need a, plug a plugin called um, Movie Render Queue. So Movie Movie Render Queue, this one, and enable this and restart the engine. After that, you will find it here under Cinematics and Movie Render Queue. So for now, we don't need this. So just move this away. And now we have to create the camera because we need the camera. So to add that, go here, Cinematic, Cinema Camera Actor, like this. And let's snap object to view. So it's viewing the same thing and also pilot cinema camera actor like that. Move that to the center and also fix the focus um, by hand. So something like this looks good to me. Okay. And we can now add the camera to the sequencer here. So actor to sequencer cinema camera actor and we are good to go looking good after that we have to import the setting uh, for the render queue so we already did that and you can find in the description link to this file which you can just import here in your folder and to do that just use uh, show in explorer and paste it here so I pasted that here, that should be right there, this one. And now that you have the movie render queue plugin installed, just load your sequence and change the settings to the render settings MPM here. And you can change the export format. Let's set that to PNG and you can change uh, the samples like 64 and the console variables so the uh, denoisers are all disabled that's all good here you can leave it as it is then in the output you can change the resolution and project directory so it's all good just click accept and hit render local this is going to take 10 minutes or something like that and uh, you can also disable the warming up. Okay, 10 minutes later, the animation is rendered and you can just find that under saved and movie renders. Let's have a look at this and go full screen. And as you can see, it's a little bit out of focus, but my bad. And uh, you can just play that. You should have a smooth animation. Um, Basically, that's it, and it should also loop, so let's try that out. Yeah, it's a perfect loop.